In the last video, we built a dashboard to visualize memory and CPU usage for our Node coin flip application. Let's finish up the Grafana dashboard by adding panels for uptime, coin flips per minute, and percentages on heads and tails. To do so, we'll start by adding custom metrics to our Node application with the Prom client library. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is adding custom metrics to our coin flip server. In the terminal, I've stopped the Docker Compose containers. Go ahead and clear this. Let's close everything but the server.js file. That's all we care about. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the library, which lets us define custom metrics. So you just do npm i prom client and then save like so. This will take a minute to install. After it does so, you can go to the package JSON and you can ensure that the dependency was installed here you know, version 14 or whatever. So now um, up here where we've added express in our app, I'm gonna define a client. So const client is require. Nope, that's that's not it. Uh, requ require and then prom client. Nice. Uh, next thing is I'm going to define Register, so let register equals to new client dot registry. Next, we're going to define our custom metrics and the things we want to keep track of is how many times we've got heads, how many times we got tails, and the total number of coin flips. So, uh, not coin, huh? const heads counts is just new client we'll do a counter there's many different types you can read up on this on the prom client github repo there's many different types of metrics but we're gonna do a counter so define a counter uh inside the i guess you know function call to make a new object uh, pass in a you know just throw in some curly braces and then we're going to give it some settings here so name heads count like so and then help just means like the description. So number of heads. Nice. I'm going to do the same thing for tails count. And that's just the same exact thing as heads count, right? It's just tails now. So I'm just changing this to tails. So you can see heads and tails. It's the same thing. I just changed a little bit of the wording around. And then last thing is we're going to do flip count. So number of we'll say flip count and then number of flips right here for the metric. Cool. So we've defined three metrics like so. Um, now we're going to say uh, register, register dot register metric heads count. What do you think comes next? Yeah, you guessed it. Uh, tails count and then flip count. Nice. And then finally, uh, register dot set default labels. It just means like what met, what are the metrics going to be labeled by? Kind of if that makes sense. Um, and it's going to be under the same thing that we did before, which is just app um, app and then uh, coin API like so. Very cool. Um, let's make this small. Okay, so good there. Uh, a couple other things we're gonna do is client and then we're going to collect default metrics so you know this is uh any other thing that you feel like you want to grab on the grafana side pass in the register which we defined up here okay so we did that collected the default metrics we did our custom metrics now we need to also expose a endpoint called metrics which gets hit by uh prometheus to grab you know, how many times we flipped and the results of each flip over time. So we'll say metrics, just a get request, async callback, um, request response. Um, and then inside of our callback, we're gonna just do res dot, nope. Yeah, response dot set header like so 
the content type. Yeah, set the content type, and it's going to be the same thing as the re register dot content type. And then right here, you're going to just do response dot end, and then it's just going to be await. This is why it's async because we're going to grab all the metrics that we care about. So we're going to do await register dot metrics like so. So now if you take a look at our file, we should have a new handler called metrics. And then we come up here and we're just importing the prom client library. And then we have three metrics here. We're registering each default labels, collecting them. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, rerun Docker compose up build. Everything should be running. Cool. Now we go over here to browser metrics. Let's hit refresh. And now you can see we got a bunch of random things. So uh, you can see it has like, you know, CPU seconds or whatever. It has all sorts of things. Um, where's flip count? There's flip count right there. I did a control F and I found it. So now if I go ahead and try to flip the coin, what do you think is going to happen? Is it going to change? I don't think so. But why though? Right, flip count is still zero. Maybe because we have to increment. So let's go ahead and implement that. We have to increment for heads, imp increment for tails and whatnot. So Come back down here. This is where the metrics are actually going to be used. So uh, if we're going to flip coins, um, let's just start. We have to increment our metrics. So flip count dot increment and we'll say times because that's the uh, variable that we extracted for, you know, how many times you want to flip. Um, then down here after the for loop for however many times we, you know, did our thing, we flipped a coin. We'll do heads count dot increment. We'll say heads. And then shout out VS code for this. Yeah, tails count increment tails, right? So now we should actually see a difference in the metrics as we do things. So go ahead and stop it. All right, let's go ahead and rerun it. Well, we got an error. Uh, I, I, you can't really increment, well, not really, but you just can't at all. You can't increment with that, you know, just raw value times. We have to convert it to a number. So let's go ahead and save. What I did on line 35 was like I casted it to a number. So let's go ahead and rerun it. It should work now. There you go. So I refreshed. It looks like it's working. We got the usual result. If I refresh here, boom. You can see we got 10 flips, 4 tails, and 6 heads which is definitely what we were expecting. Let's do it again. You can see we got 11 heads, nine and 20, right? Cause we flipped it 10 twice. Very cool, very cool. So we've been able to expose metrics using this endpoint. Now it's time to allow Prometheus to see them. So let's go back into our VS code or you know whatever text editor you like. Go to prometheus.yml, YAML. Then we're gonna add one more job here we were scraping from C advisors. Let's do job name uh, is, uh, you know, coin API and then static configs. It's really the same thing that you saw earlier. So let me just make some space here. Uh, targets is going to be Coin API 5000. Cool. So save it. Looks good. Let's stop everything and rerun it real quick. And then we'll move on to our Grafana dashboard where we will incorporate all of these cool custom metrics. So rerun everything. Looks good. It's running. Go back here. Let's go ahead and add in our custom metrics for our coin flip API. First one I'm going to add is a panel to track uptime. So I'm just going to call it uptime on the right side. Change our data source as always to be Prometheus. And this metric is just going to be time minus process CPU seconds total for the job that is coin API. You can see we're getting, you know, some numbers here. Now, if I change this, let's go to units. 
Let's do it by seconds. And then we'll go change this to stat. It says it's been up for 52 years, so that means I probably did something wrong. Process, oh, okay, there you go. Process, oh man, where's my suggestion? Process, I'm trying to not, I don't want to type it out, I'm lazy. So process, start, there it is, okay. Yeah, I wish it was running for 52 years. Most reliable app ever. Okay, so there we go. Now that looks right. So if we get rid of the threshold, there it's green. Uptime is there, nice. Now let's go to the next one, which will just be tracking how many flips we've done per minute. So this is going to just be flips, flip per minute. Um, so now what's that look like? Uh, remember, we registered our metrics in the Node app. So now if you do uh, flip count, see how it automatically came up suggested? That means it's working, and that's honestly pretty cool. So um, flip count, let's just do job coin API. If we look at the line right now, it was high because uh, I was playing around with this before I recorded. Now it's back to zero because I restarted. So um, that's good. Flip count, let's say... This is, we can do rate, and then within flip count, uh, we do one minute. So that's, you know, and then multiply by 60, and then that should get us the, yeah, about per minute metric of what's going on. Now let me slightly change this visualization to be a gauge, um, and then I'll get rid of the thresholds because we don't need, like, you know, no point turning red for any reason. So uh, apply, good. So no flips per minute yet. Now, let me add the two other metrics, and then we'll go ahead and test it out. Now, uh, let's just do, let's do two percentages. So it's going to be tails per flip and then heads per flip. So this one will be tails per flip. Prometheus, uh, tails per flip is going to be tails count. You can see it auto-suggested again, which is awesome. Job, coin API, divided by flip count. And then for, you guess it, the same job, Coin API, And this was high because, again, I was testing it before I recorded this section. So, you know, that's just what's going on. Let me change it to be a stat. Um, that's what it was earlier, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll see what's up. Uh, get rid of the threshold. Doesn't really matter, though. Um, unit. Let's do percentage. Okay. Apply. You can duplicate this to save some time. Duplicate, and then we'll edit this to be heads. Heads per flip. And then this just has to change here. Heads count. Nice, okay, so apply it. Let's do it from scratch. So what I mean by this is uh, Let's save the JSON model, and then we're going to rerun everything to make sure that you just you run it and it works. So I just pasted the JSON from settings. You go to JSON model. Let me change this from saying new dashboard to coin flip API dashboard or something. Um, if I do update this, then that means I actually have to resave the JSON model. So just resave it one more time. You can see on line 459 my title updated here. So save it. Let's stop this. If we really want to start with a, a clean slate, we can remove all of the stuff that Grafana wrote in the data directory. So we'll do rm dash r Grafana data star. Okay, so after we do, after we remove the data, um, we're going to remove the, uh, let's just remove all the containers. Why not? Let's just start from scratch. So um, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it to prove to you that like you can do it from scratch and the metrics won't be there and it'll all just work out the box. So uh, docker rm and then you just do docker ps-aq. This is just a cool bash. Uh, you, you pass in all the IDs from here and docker removes them all. So if you do docker ps-a, it's empty. So docker compose up. We're starting completely from scratch. Let this build, this will take a minute. Okay, it's running. So now let's go back here, refresh our dashboard. 
yeah, you can see there are no previous metrics at all, which is awesome. So the uptime is 32 seconds. So let's go ahead and flip a coin. Let's flip it 2,000 times. 10, 16, 984. Uh, keep in mind that Prometheus is scraping the metrics. Um, what is the interval we said? We said five seconds. So yeah, just give it, you know, time to propagate up to Grafana. There it is. So now you can see the rate at which we are flipping. It's expecting like around, you know, 2,000 something flips per minute. And we're, you know, reliably getting around 50%, uh, you know, distributed across each result. So let's let's flip it uh, to 20,000, 200,000, 2 million, 20 million, 200 million. Let's do 100 million times. So this is going to take a minute. It's flipping a lot of coins. I can't imagine how that would sound. Like all the coins, you know, being flipped and falling on the ground. It'd be super loud. So... Nice. Get, got the result. And give it a second. Let's see what happens. We should see stuff spike. Yep, this spiked right here. This also spiked and the number, you know, ballooned. Um, and we got, you know, around 50%. So our coin flip API is pretty reliable after adding monitoring. Hope you learned something. This is a lot of fun. See you later.